BMRform.com and BMRodds.com. What is going on, boys? What is going on? Bobby FK back today with another review. You know, I was in Target yesterday, and you know the Fiaro Rocher? I'm sure I'm butchering the spell of that. Fiaro Rocher, those small little balls, um, gold, with the gold coloring, and then you bite into it, you have like the chocolate, and then the hazelnuts on the outside, and I think each one might be filled with a hazelnut, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time, a long time since I've had them, but uh, they are really, really good. So I was really excited when I came across the Fiera Rocher Bar. I never even knew they made a candy bar. So it's milk chocolate with hazelnut and cocoa filling. Let's go ahead and we'll try this out here, guys. Hopefully everybody is having a great, great weekend out there. Let's go ahead and we will try this bar out. Very excited to try this because, like I said, I really like the uh, little balls, the Fiara Roche balls. So I'm curious if this will be just as good. Let me we'll open it up here, guys. I do like this guy. Huh. You would think that you just open right up, but that's not the case. You, would... you know, it's nice how they package these so they don't come apart, but very aggravating to try to. There we go. Sometimes you just have to rip it and get right to it, guys. Now, as you can see, those are actually what the little candy balls look like right here. I wonder we will try one here, guys. This is identical to a Fiero Rocher little ball thing, but in bar form. Mm, mm. Wow. This is good. like hazelnuts. That is the predominant flavor in this chocolate. Wow. Really, really good. It's not like a Hershey bar where the predominant flavor is chocolate. This, you get more hazelnut flavor. You get a little hint of chocolate, but it's primarily hazelnut. That's primarily what you are eating here. Mm. Mm. Really, really good. I really like the attention to detail. Because those are normally what you would get with Fiara Rocher, the little balls. But, you know, as this is a chocolate bar, I really like how they add a little detail of that on there. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Again, you have to like hazelnut, you have to like chocolate, but the primary flavor in this is definitely the hazelnuts, but definitely a really, really good bar. I definitely enjoyed this. I would definitely buy it again. Definitely 8 out of 10. You know, this bar was like $5, which you're saying to yourself, ah, that's kind of expensive or just a stupid chocolate bar. But you know what? You're paying, I'm going to put this back in the box, but I can't get it back in the box the way it was, so I'm just going to have to rip the box and just pop it back on there. You know, you're paying for the quality of the chocolate. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again when it comes to certain products. I don't mind paying a little bit more for a higher quality products, you know. Same with certain food items. I don't mind, forget it, I'm just leaving it out of the box. 
I don't mind paying a little bit more for a higher quality food item versus, you know, a uh, you know, a $12 box of pasta versus a $4 box of pasta, you're going to taste the difference. And same with chocolate, you know, same with a lot of different food items. Just like this Coke I'm sipping on. Same here, you know, you're buying Coca-Cola, you know you're going to get a good product versus if you go to the dollar store and you're buying an off-brand Coca-Cola product. It's just not going to be the same. You're just not going to get the same taste and the same flavor. So if you're going to buy stuff, especially food products, you know, spend the extra money and get the better quality product. BMRforum.com, BMRI.